Hello everyone, uh, this is video number two. This is the second official video in the series. Um, there are some other videos that are um, shorts that I just throw on there real quick. Uh, but this is the second official video. This is number two video. Uh, it's, it's about diet. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure what we'll title it. But right now it's diet. You can see our dogs are walking behind us. That's Chloe, the black one. The one that was on the video last time was Sweetie Pea. Uh, Chloe is, she's got a weight problem too, but it, it's just due to her breed. She's a skipper teeth, skipper, skipper teeth, chihuahua mix, and she likes to eat. There's her head sticking out there on this side. But this is the second video, uh, and it's called Diet. There's Sweetie Pea walking by right there too. Uh, I gave them a treat and they're looking for crumbs. But we are in another day of food days. It is now one. Uh, p.m. Sorry, 1:28 p.m. Uh, in Monrovia, California, and it is a uh, hundred degrees. So it's a little bit cooler than yesterday. Yesterday, I think it's around 108 degrees uh, at this time. So that's good at least. Uh, we are getting cooler. They said by Wednesday the heat wave will be over, but it's still going to be warm by next Saturday. Next Saturday is going to be about 28 degrees cooler than the Saturday that was yesterday. So yesterday's temperature was about 28 degrees higher, and then they're both there right now. They're or after treat baths, as you can see, what are, what are, what are dogs do. But anyway, this is the second video. This is the video that people think, or this is the, the, the topic that people think was the toughest thing. Uh, they always ask about that diet, 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 diet. Basically, this is like, what could, what should I eat or what not I should eat? Um, and it's not the hardest thing. The hardest thing was video number one. Video number one is the hardest thing. So as I said in the other videos, this is a, a series of videos of what I did to lose uh, the weight and I lost over 108 pounds uh, this morning. I did weigh myself. I, I will do one on about uh, another video about weighing yourself when you should weigh yourself or no, not you. I mean, again, not you, not you when I should weigh myself. When I came up with the plan of when to weigh myself, so you can weigh yourself every day. I know there's one diet out there, I don't know what it's called, but they weigh themselves three or four times a day and they record it in a journal. So I don't know if it has to do with are they trying to track like you know uh, exercise or or how affects them. I'm not sure exactly how it works because I wasn't really in this program, but they do weigh themselves. I think it's four times a day. I think when you wake up after breakfast, before lunch, an hour after lunch, dinner, maybe even at night. I mean, it might have been six times. I don't know, but they track that very, very closely with an electronic scale that sends the information out to some company. So I didn't do that one. But this is not the hardest one. The hardest one is to motivate yourself and get up there and do it. Uh, for me, for, for me, this is what I'm thinking. Uh, first video is the toughest. This is <clears throat> making myself do this uh, and just keep doing. That's hard. It's hard. You had to do. I had to declare my my willpower. I I mean I had to find my motivation. Why am I motivated to do this? I had to find the willpower to do it. Then I had to find a program that fit <clears throat> in my life. I had to. I, I don't have a set job where I work nine to five Monday through Friday, <clears throat> and I can exercise on this day or that day. Or, before work or after work or on my lunch break um, because I have to do this every single day no matter what. So this is not the toughest video. This is just it's important. It's very, very important. You know, if you always say the only diet that works is uh, eat less and exercise more. And I found that not to be true. And I'll go over that in a future video. But I found out that the traditional eat less, exercise more does not necessarily work. In my case, in your case, it may work just fine. So. This is the second video, and I'm doing it in order of when I left the hospital. So the last video talked about what happened, uh, the IVs, uh, you know, the, uh, staying at home, not being able to exercise. So when I first got out of the hospital, I was not able to exercise because I had an ingrown, I had a bone infection in my toe, my grand toe, which is my big toe on the right foot. Uh, and I couldn't walk. It worked its way up to the top of the foot and down my foot and up my leg. So uh, I had an infection and we had to fight that infection. And I could not exercise because they want me to walk just on the ball of my foot or the, whatever it's called. It's called the foot. It's the top of it. that, that's really tough. I could walk like from my room to the, to the other room to get something to eat or the kitchen or, or the living room. And, you know, I, I wasn't going outside. I wasn't doing I also took my regular medication, which is what I took this morning. So 
this is the second thing that happened. Like I got released from the hospital. That's where we are today. So when I got released from the hospital, I could not exercise, but I needed to lose weight and I needed to feel better. I needed to get my numbers better. Um, so what I had to do was go through diet and there's a ton of diet. You're going to hear a lot of people that are going to talk to you about diet. People will tell me things like, you can't eat that. You're a diabetic. Or you can't eat that. You're overweight. Well, of course I can physically eat it. I physically eat it. My body will process that food. However, there's things I should eat. I shouldn't eat and I'll do a little a few little tricks that I came up with. So what I did is when I got out of the hospital, I took all the little menus that you get, like uh, we're not even to deliver your food. You don't get to pick what you eat in the hospital, at least not uh, in the veteran hospital. They bring you your food on a tray and whatever and you mix it up and you see. And I kept the little uh, things that told me what the food was, or this is an egg, this is whatever. And I kept those. And I decided I would try to mimic that, try to do something similar to that on my diet. And I knew there's a few things I was doing wrong that I could easily fix. So when I got out, I knew I had to eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, and maybe a snack. So skipping meals was no longer something I could do because I get too hungry. If you skip a meal, or right, sorry, if I skip a meal, uh, my numbers get out of whack, and I might need to eat a bunch of food because my, num my numbers are low. If I have a low blood sugar reading, I might have to go and eat something that's, that's not good. You know, you can eat a lot of sugar in it or, or that kind of thing, and that's not good to do. So when I got out, I just kind of mimicked that. So for example, breakfast, uh, I would have like one egg and one slice of bacon and no toast, nothing else like that, just an egg, maybe two eggs. Sometimes I was really hungry, but I would eat egg, a slice of bacon, uh, and then I'd have coffee, no, that's basically what I'd get in the, in the hospital. Uh, no English muffins, no, uh, no pastries, no toast, none of that kind of thing. That might be a, a breakfast I'd have. And then for lunch, uh, you know, I'd have something where similar to what they were doing there. Uh, just something without without a lot of bread. Um, sometimes I'd have um, a hamburger patty, just hamburger patty, no no bun, nothing like that. A hamburger patty with some cheese. Uh, and then I would have some uh, carrots. I could have five baby carrots, or maybe a couple pieces of celery, or a small salad. And that would be it. And again, with coffee and milk, because that's what they always give me, coffee and milk. So I'd put a little bit of knock that milk in my coffee, stir it in, and drink that, and have that. Um, and and that, that was okay. It was basically a burger without a bun, you know, like a lettuce wrap. For dinner, basically the same thing as lunch, that kind of thing. Um, sometimes it'd be, uh, I would have a few strips of chicken. Uh, I'd have that, uh, a grilled chicken with no uh, breading. I'd have that with a salad. I'd get a big thing of mixed greens, leaves. You could I, I could have, but there I said, you. I found I could have as much lettuce as I wanted. The things I can't have a whole lot of it carrots, fruit, couldn't have fruit. And I'm, I'm a cereal eater. I love to eat cereal. I cannot do that now. Uh, but I used to love cereal and I love raisins and I like apples and all that. So that's what I did for diet. That was just that was a simple thing. Now some of the little tricks that I did or the little things I did to modify, I always put sugar in my coffee uh, in the past. And then I thought, well, why? You know, uh, and my friend Emily told me, why don't we try putting coffee with just maybe cream or half and half or, or like that or not that milk and it tasted really good i didn't need the sugar for drinking now this is one of the number one things that people have a problem with and i had the problem with too is drinking things other than water uh i drink non unsweetened iced tea you can get that really cheap a dollar at mcdonald's i'm not endorsing mcdonald's but you can go get that for one dollar at mcdonald's if you wanted to i do that I, i'll stop and i'll, I'll get that so no i'll, I'll sit and i'll drink the, the big one down there and then uh, I drink about half again, and then I fill it, and then I leave. You know, so maybe a total of two and a half, you know, on a hot day like today, when it's 100 degrees, <laughs> or 108 like it was yesterday. So that's one way you can save some calories, or I could, I thought I could save calories, and also things I might, I don't need. So I don't need the sugars because I'm a diabetic. So I was able to take the sugars from my coffee and not use them. So that there, boom, was, was, was one good thing. Then I would have uh, iced tea, no sugar, just iced tea. It tastes really good. No, no diet drinks, zero this and diet that. No, no, no. What happened? I found was my body would, my my brain would think it's having sweets, and I think my body would then start trying to produce insulin to, to fight some carbs that are not there, and that was a problem. So snacking, uh, for snacks, I would have a little bit of a, of a salad. Uh, you can have I I there. So again, I found I could have Greek whole yogurt. Uh, two tablespoons in the morning sometimes what I'll do now 
which I'll take two tablespoons, uh, whopping tablespoons. I think it's going to be a quarter, quarter of a cup. I throw that in a bowl, chop up two or three strawberries, I throw them in there, I mix it all in so you get a little strawberry in every bite. So I do that for breakfast quite often. Uh, sometimes I don't have strawberries, like you plain yogurt's kind of plain. It's not bad, it's just not sweet, and it's not um, not as delicious as you would want, maybe. Um, but that's a good way to get breakfast. When, uh, when I do have cereal, I do like to have cereal, I don't really like the keto cereals. I tried some of those keto products, I really don't like them very much. So what I'll do is if it's like a small size, like one cup or one and a half cups, I'll, I'll, <clears throat> I'll eat like a quarter of a cup with um, milk. And that's what I have, no fruit, no nothing else. The only fruits I really eat right now, uh, I will eat um, strawberries. <laughs> that's basically it, really. Um, uh, one thing they always say is if you're going to eat a piece of fruit, always eat the fruit. Don't, if you have an apple, have an apple. Don't even have apple sauce or apple juice or anything that they make with the apple. You want the entire apple so you get that fiber to fight against uh, some of the carbs. Um, and a lot of the diets you'll read will say have half of one of this, half of a banana. Well, who eats half of a banana? Or say a small banana, but you go to the store and they only have large bananas. That's, that's during, during COVID and supply issues. Um, that is a problem. Some of the things you might want to have might not be available. So when it comes to fruit, I usually get my fruit that way. I eat a lot of lettuce, you know, a lot of the uh, mixed greens, you know, mixed greens, spinach leaves. Um, on the salad itself, I can add cabbage, add onion, uh, and I will do that. I use dressings that are not um, artificial. A lot of artificial stuff. Lots of I use like a piece of regular ranch dressing. Um, I don't use the low fat ranch dressing. So um, but I can have that and my numbers stay good. My numbers stay good. And, and I can track a lot of this stuff just by checking my blood sugar, checking uh, my weight, which I don't do that often, but I, I can tell how I'm feeling. Uh, also, when it's really hot right now, you don't feel like eating or I don't feel like eating that much. So I want to eat things that are kind of refreshing. Uh, and fruit type stuff sounds great, but I can't have it. And, and I know I can't have it and I just have to say I can't have that. So it has to do with some, sort of the willpower and the motivation. So I'm motivated to do this. I have to have the willpower to not eat everything in sight. So the things I can't eat, diet drinks, you know, a lot of sugar, breads. Um, for for uh, bread, uh, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just have like one slice of whole wheat bread. Uh, peanut butter um, is very good for a snack or even for a meal. Uh, well, there's also I'll cut a piece of bread in half, put peanut butter on that, and eat it with an open face. So you eat half of one slice. So if you look at how much how much carbs or sugars or fat or uh, cholesterol or calories are in something, you got to look and read the labels. A lot of times people say, well, I, I didn't have that much. I only had a bowl of cereal. Well, the amount of cereal you have was one cup, and the amount of you put in your bowl was three and a half cups. And that might be why a lot of us have this problem is we don't read this. There's a, a there's a there's some kind of a healthy cooking, I can't remember the name, but I won't say it on, the, on this way, but it says eat half of a cookie. Strawberry cream, and I always drink this as a um, here in California. And I found that I well, that's a good option. And I read the ingredients, and it says that that's half of a cookie. Half of this cookie, there's going to be like a meal replacement. A lot of this meal replacement stuff, if you look, they're replacing things like 200 calories, 300 calories per meal. So if you have three of those, you're going to be at 900 calories a day. That's a little low. So um, so it has to be supplemented. But snacky type stuff, I, I, I eat a celery with some peanut butter on it. I used to like for raisins. I can't do that. But I can make sandwiches without the bread. I would take it, uh, when, especially when I had to go mobile and go places. Uh, sometimes I just take three or four slices of, of roast beef, put a piece of cheddar cheese in there, put a couple of pickle spears, and that would be the sandwich. Wouldn't have any bread. Um, at home, I'd do the same, but I put some mustard on there. Because it's hard to get a real mobile with mustard. I don't want to get little packages of mustard. But peanut butter, two, two tablespoons of peanut butter every now and then, that's good. Uh, for me, at least. Um, and I know this because I track my numbers. Uh, I track the important numbers, which are my labs. Uh, as long as my labs are pretty good, that's basically all I can go on. I go on how I feel, how much I weigh, and my labs. And that's the way I track it. So for diet, basically I had to get rid of a lot of the stuff. And, and we, we, both, we, all, we all know, <laughs> we all know what we need to do. You can't just sit there and have candy for lunch. You can't have a big bag of chips. Chips are great, love them. Bread is great. You know, there was times when I would have breakfast and I said, well, I'm going to go get breakfast. And I would have uh, you know, a coffee with the sugar and cream and a 
maple bar and a chocolate bar. That'd be reckless. That is terrible. Okay, I had no, not to do that. Not to do that. Can't do that. When it comes to cheat days, a lot of times you'll hear, oh, I'm going to have a cheat day, cheat day, cheat day. Well, a cheat day becomes two days, and then three days, and a week, and then a month later, you go, well, I haven't been on my diet in a month. So I don't have cheat days. If there's an occasion, a birthday party, Christmas, or if I want a little snack, okay, I'll do it. And then I have to remember, where do I get my carbs? So a lot of people say, hey, David, would you like a slice? Oh, you can't have that. Well, I can have that. But I have to remember, I'm only supposed to have so much carbs. And the doctors will tell you that. And it's also true for your, your life. You'll, you'll know. But I can only have a certain amount of carbs. So where do I want to get those carbs? Do I want to get those carbs from a candy bar or do I want to get them from a candy bar? And I have to make a decision. Dark chocolate. They always say dark chocolate is great. And I like dark chocolate. Some people hate dark chocolate. But again, they say you can have some dark chocolate. And then you look on the, the label and you see how much carbs are in this, how much sugar is in this, how much fat, whatever, whatever the numbers, whatever you're trying to avoid. When I try to avoid things, it's sugars, carbs, uh, you know, uh, I, I do want some healthy fat, but not, you know, like a lot of the extra fat, artificial ingredients. But with dark chocolate, uh, I get the big dark chocolate bar like this, and I'll just, every now and then, <laughs> I, I want a little treat, I'll break off two little pieces about, about that big, and I'll eat it. So, that big, maybe three inches by two inches, and I break it. Well, the serving size is probably half of that for that candy bar, or maybe a quarter of that candy bar. So I mean, a lot less of that. So reading the ingredients, reading the labels, how much of this is very important. Because people will say, and I hear this all the time, or they'll say something, they'll say to you, this is a really great cereal to eat. It's going to help you with your weight. And then you look at the thing that they have on the commercial, and it's filled like this, and it's kind of coming up like this, and there's more things in it. And they, there's berries in there, and suggested, uh, suggested add banana. And all that, and then you look at that's not what it says on the label. The label says quarters of a cup and some milk for, for, for that example. So, dieting um, a lot of it's just not doing what I was not supposed to do. And we know breads for me, breads, chips, um, salt, salt's in everything. If you because cake, there's, there's, there's salt, so there's a lot of sodium, a lot of fat. I don't use margarine, I use butter, I use milk, you know. Um, I never really acquired a taste for some of the almond milks and all that. If I was using a lot of, if I drink a lot of coffee, maybe I'd put a milk substitute in there, a plant-based milk or something, but I don't do that. Um, nuts, I think I eat nuts, uh, almond, um, are good, you know, and, and, and uh, uh, things like that. So you make your snacks, when I make my snacks, and again, I said to you, when I discover my snacks, sometimes I'll just have a, a two scoops of peanut butter. I mean, like a, a tablespoon of peanut butter, tablespoon of peanut butter, because I'm hungry and I don't want to do that. So one very, very, very important thing to my diet and how I lost 100 and over 180 pounds. What I did is I drink a lot of water, water all the time. So when I go and I take my medicine, I have to take <clears throat> medicine three or four times a day, four times a day, uh, or maybe it's five, I will drink like you know, two or three glasses of water. Then if I have to go somewhere, I burn a big water bottle and I, and I drink that, that water bottle. So I consume a lot of water. How much water? It's a lot. I don't know. Maybe three glasses. They, they don't even know where they came up with that. You need but all different theories. Where did they get this you know, glass of the water? They don't know. So, what I do is I drink a lot of water. Iced tea with no sugar. But if, if I drink water, it fills me up. It keeps me hydrated. You know, I, I take, I'm able to, to do my exercise. Because if you're not hydrated, you're not going to want to do that exercise. So I'm not going to. There again, I said, you know, if I don't do, if I don't stay hydrated, then I won't do my exercise. You know, I'll get a cramp. Maybe I won't feel well. On the, I have a trail outside of my house. It's two miles long and two miles back. I've walked that sometimes five miles. And I think that's just under 10,000 steps. I can't remember. Uh, so my goal is 10,000 steps a day. Um, and I'll show some, when I get to exercise, I'll show some of the benefits that I do with exercise. Um, but if I don't hydrate, that gives me an excuse. And excuses are a big, big problem that I have. I don't know if you have this problem, but it's all, oh, you know, kind of really hot outside. I don't think I'm going to exercise. Well, no. I either go, it's hot outside, let me modify my exercise. Or I'll go into the kitchen, I'll look, oh, I don't have a frozen burrito. I don't really eat frozen burrito pieces in the house. Um, oh, but I do have lettuce and I have uh, some cheddar cheese. I like to make myself a salad. So a lot of times excuses come up, things come up. Like, you know, I was in wait. I couldn't allow myself to drink a Diet Coke. I know I'm tired. I know I just work a nine hour day. I don't feel like walking, but I have to. So I grab the 
dog. We have three dogs, two smalls, one big. I grab the big dog, put her on the leash, and we go walk. She needs to walk. I need to walk. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's fine. But when it comes to diet, I found that I had to do two things. Eliminate the bad and increase the good. And I found it was not less. I exercise more. I exercise more and things pretty much true, I found. When it comes to the traditional, I guess maybe American diet or American I'm a, I live in the United States, so I don't know. But uh, maybe it's worldwide. Worldwide, let's say it's worldwide. Worldwide diet says eat less, exercise more. Okay, exercise more, probably that's true. Or healthy exercise more. I had to talk to the doctor. What kind of exercise can I do? When I first had all that weight, they didn't want me to go, they want me just to walk around the block. That'd be my exercise. I said, well, can I play tennis? No. Can I ride a bike? No. Hey, I can walk around the block. That's where they want to start with you. They're afraid of getting on the block. Then I convince them to let me go to the YMCA. They have defibrillators. <laughs> you know, in case I might need a defibrillator. Wow, it's scary, right? So I went from that to be able to play tennis, to go hiking. Uh, uh, even when I was at my heaviest, I went on an eight mile hike. Um, so I, I, I make myself exercise. But I don't want to have excuses not to do something. It's so easy. So if I have a, if I have a cheat day for no reason, just because. One of the seven days in the week I can actually uh, this day, which didn't work for me. So if it's someone's birthday, or if I get invited to a, a dinner and they just happen to be having pizza, and it's either eat pizza or no eating at all, yeah, I can have a slice of pizza. But I have to remember where's those carbs coming from? Can I have like half of a pizza? Can I have two slices? Yeah, sure, maybe I can eat two slices of pizza. But I have to remember that's a lot of carbs and a lot of calories, and I have to consider that. So I can't go out and eat a whole large pizza like I used to do. I used to sometimes go get a large pizza and eat the whole thing. No more. You know, I can't go through a drive through and get two combo meals. Or, or I get a combo meal and add a couple burgers to it because I want to eat two burgers. That's terrible. But I eliminate french fries. I eliminate, uh, and not, not always. I mean, there's times where maybe um, for a special occasion I'll get french fries. But another thing of dieting, I'll do one on going out. I'll add that to my list of ideas. But one thing you do now is a lot of lettuce wrap. You can lettuce wrap a burger. Uh, if you're doing burgers or whatever, you get it, like, two double, small double cheeseburgers. Like, you know, you take off all the bread. Middle, the middle piece of the bun comes off. Uh, you can eat things open face. And if you eat fast food going to the drive, that's kind of tough because you need a knife and fork. But if you eat all of it also open face, it's not as good for you as or not. There you go again. It's not as good for me uh, as a, as another meal. But I can modify some of this stuff and still go out because people are going to probably want you to go out with them. They want me to do things. Hey, Dina, let's go to the movies. Now, movies are tough because you're sitting down, first of all, totally sedentary, and then you're eating popcorn or whatever. So I would have to try to bring a water bottle. A lot of times they don't like that because there is nothing on the drink that I can really have. Uh, they might have iced tea, but it's going to be raspberry and with sugar and that kind of stuff. So snacking at the movie theater is tough because that popcorn smells really good. So I let myself have popcorn. I don't go to the movies every day. So maybe I have the popcorn and, and water. And that, that's something I can do. But anyway, I had to modify everything. Get rid of stuff I just, most of my diet is getting rid of stuff I shouldn't be eating. I know I shouldn't be eating. And then a lot of it was just those little cards. Okay, it's one egg, two pieces of, two little round veg, veggie. They, they got a lot of veggie stuff. Uh, like an egg and with two veggie sausages. They taste really good. Uh, and then sometimes I would have uh, yogurt, uh, raisins, uh, you know, raisins, yogurt with strawberries. The breakfast is one of the toughest ones for me because you up and go like, go like eating a lot. So I, I get up and I don't go and eat a lot. There I go again. Um, and I, I can't just have coffee and an English muffin. You know, that that sounds really good. Right now I feel mm, English muffin, that sounds good. I would like to go have an English muffin like I wanted to tonight. So that's the kind of thing I had to think about things. Wow, that really sounds good. You know, this smells mm, I remember this or you smell or something. It's similar to like this. Uh, it's a hundred and right now it's hundred degrees, but if I'm driving in my car and I go and I have a red light and I have my my air conditioning going and my radio on, and I smell coffee. Uh, so it's good. I want coffee, hot coffee. And it's 100 degrees. Because I smell that. I, my brain reacts to that. So I had to I had to stop doing a lot of that stuff. And I hope this is helpful. This is about diet. I will cover some other stuff. This is some tricks that I learned or techniques I learned of how to move things when I'm, when I'm mobile when, you, when I go out. So hopefully this is this is uh, helpful video. This is video number two. And as I said before, for me, diet was not the number one thing. 
diet, the hardest thing. Diet was, was, a, was an ongoing, evolving thing. So you learn a lot of stuff, right? I learned, you know, I learned a lot of stuff, and I would start thinking, like, why don't you eat this? Why don't, but why do they say not to do this? Why do they say to do this? And I had to look at that uh, and, and uh, work it into my, my diet with my supplements. I'm going to do the, my, the next video, video number four, if you have supplements. So I can talk about pharmacy and where my, my stuff in here, or maybe I'll shoot you in the bathroom, and I'll show what I take. And then I also do a video, maybe right after supplements, of what I did to, uh, to uh, treat neuropathy. If you're a diabetic, as I am, you may get neuropathy. I did. Uh, and they want to give me uh, drugs for that. Uh, you see a lot of the commercials on TV. You see those commercials on TV, and you go ask your doctor. Um, the doctors hear a lot of that. They do. Uh, so what I did was I uh, decided I would try to make this uh, over-the-counter uh, supplements, vitamins, and it worked. I have no more neuropathy pain, no more numbness, no more tingling, no more sharp pain, nothing. And that's uh, what I did. So it did work for me 100%. And I'll share that with you. I'll, I'll have some like here. Maybe I'll do that. I'll do supplements next, and then maybe I'll do the neuropathy uh, program that I, I, that I, I use. Um, and it's really cheap. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a great day. If you're a heat wave like me, stay, stay, try to stay cool. It's stay hot. Drink a lot of water. All right. Thank you. Yeah, as we all know, uh, that's a good, good uh, option. Drink a lot of water. Make sure your pets have a lot of water uh, and, and all that. All right. Hey everyone, um, hope you're doing well today. Just wanted to ask everybody if you could please, please subscribe. It really helps the channel a lot. It's a brand new channel. In order to make videos and, and to do all this uh, uh, stuff on this channel to, to show how I lost 108 pounds, uh, please, uh, please subscribe. I think the link is down below. Thank you.